Well, crown of thorns has, I mean, it's a voracious predator of, of corals, of hard corals, which are the corals that actually build the reef. So, you know, that's the fundamental reason um, why it's such a threat. And it's been around for a very, very long time. But it seems like in more recent times, there's been this propensity to get these major outbreaks. And the causes of these are not well understood. There's probably some natural cycles going on here, and quite possibly some human-induced trends that actually cause these outbreaks as well. And when this happens, it, it, the, there's just the sheer number of starfish um, just really decimates reefs. And as soon as that happens, you're starting to break down that, that structure, that three-dimensional structure of the reef, because they're eating the, the live material then the reef becomes very, very susceptible to all of those other kind of impacts that are, that are hitting it, um, even storms and cyclones. And then, of course, we have global climate change as well. To date, the target has always been on in removing individual crown of thorns or killing individual crown of thorns. And what we're going to try and do is develop a technique where you can do large-scale, uh, proactive removal of these animals. Um, what the genome has revealed are a number of genes that encode these, um, these, these kinds of proteins that the starfish actually use to communicate with each other. And they'll use these to attract um, each other into these big aggregations, particularly when they're ready to spawn because they just spawn their gametes freely into the seawater. So for the egg to meet the sperm, you need to have lots of starfish all in one place. So if we can get the starfish to do some of the work for us and actually you know, come to these traps, then that will just make that more efficient. If, if things go to plan and we're able to use this genome-informed information to develop um, mitigation strategies, in particular we want to try and develop baits, which that we can attract the crown thorns before they reproduce into traps and get them out of the ecosystem before they're actually contributing to the next generation. We all worry tremendously about the, the state of the reef. Um, we all understand that there's a, a need for a really balanced approach. Um, you know, it's unrealistic that, to think that we can just go out there and stop everything that's happening and protect the reef. That, that's, that is unrealistic. So I think when we see these, these aspects that are uh, uh, clear threats that uh, when, where those threats are likely, at least in part, human-induced, I think we all have a responsibility to try and, and you know, at least slow that, that down.